All right, welcome back to Mr. P Helps with Geometry, this is Unit 1, Topic 1, Day 12. So the last day of this topic. So we are starting off with a warm-up on bisecting this angle. So I know I've showed this before. So we make our um, so we so we make an arc using our fixed point at Z. And then using that point of intersection right here, I'm going to simply make an arc out here in the middle of space, do the exact same thing from the other side. And wherever those two intersect is going to be equal distance to both rays. And that's what I use to connect to the starting point. All right, um, so that's essentially the steps. So. Once again, so this is going to be doing perpendicular bisectors just like the last video, but the only difference is this time we want to go through a specified point. So we're given this line and we're given a point that's not on the line. And now what I need to do is I need to find two points on the line that are equal distance to the point that is given. So I'm going to have to make this a little bit smaller. So what I'm going to do first is put my fixed point on the given point and I'm going to make an arc so that it intersects my line twice. And what that essentially has done is given me two points of intersection that are equal distant to x. And now from those two points of intersection I'm going to construct my perpendicular bisector just like I did in the last video. So move it over to here and make the exact same arc. And now what you'll notice is that we have a perpendicular bisector that when connected should go through point X precisely, just like that. All right, so um, once again, I'm not gonna show all these examples. So here's another one here. It says construct a perpendicular bisector, perpendicular to AB, going through point B, P, sorry. Now, First thing you need to take note is the fact that points A and B are useless in this case. If you try to do a perpendicular bisector between points A and B, you're gonna know that it does not go through point P. And the reason why is because A looks closer to P than B does. So once again, the first step is always put your fixed point on the given point, and then I'm gonna open this up so that it's gonna go through our line twice. I need to open it up just a little bit more. Now, it might be the case where you use, okay, I need to make that a little bit bigger because obviously that just barely hit the line. So it might go through either point A or, v, A or B. So it's possible to use one of the points, but it's not possible to use both. Then using your two points of intersection, once again, I am ignoring points A and B in this question. So don't even use those points. So from here, I'm going to make a semicircle and then I'm going to go over here to my other point of intersection forgetting about points B and I'm going to make another semicircle and since these two points of intersection were equal distance to P when I make that perpendicular bisector it should exactly go through point P okay so the important part when doing this is don't just use the points because they're there they're actually there to distract you. It says construct a line perpendicular to the line FE through point R. Now, this time it's pretty obvious that you're not going to use points E or F for anything. So start by putting your fixed point on R and then um, make sure that your compass is open a little bit past the line like that so that it's going to intersect the line twice. Now, if it doesn't intersect the line, then you will just need to you know, make it bigger and try again. And then I'm gonna make a perpendicular bisector from both sides. So there's from this side, and then from the other point of intersection, make the exact same arc. Now, I just barely hit right here. Now, if it didn't inter inter intersect right there, then what I would need to do is go back and redo the first one. So I kind of got lucky there because it just barely hit. And there we go, we got ourselves a perpendicular going through the line and the given points. Now I have been rushing through this and I forgot that I need to put my notation of the 90 degree perpendicular. It's not a bisector, so I'm not saying both sides are congruent. The only thing this is, is just a perpendicular going through a point. So once again, this is not a bisector, so just the perpendicular. I'm not gonna put a segment here, segment here, because segment A to that intersection and B to that intersection is not gonna be the same distance. All right, thanks again for watching and look forward to the next topic. Have a wonderful day.